Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. And today I am here to do a wig review for you. I have Orlando by Vivica Fox in the color 42730. It's actually P42730. So that's the tag. Um, this is a little bit of a different wig review for me. This is a, a wig from a line that isn't one that I typically um, consider when I'm purchasing wigs. Uh, the Vivica Fox line is a line of wigs that is generally marketed toward um, women of color, black women, African American women. Um, it, it falls along the lines of some of the other brands that are marketed to the same kind of demographic, I would say, as uh, Bobby Boss. Um, Outre is another one of them that I'm a little bit familiar with. And the reason why I say that it's not generally marketed to me, my demographic, is because the lace on the wigs in this kind of genre of wigs tends to be on the darker side. It's not really transparent lace, and therefore it doesn't blend very well with my skin. But I have seen a number of women talk about this Orlando wig, and it sort of crosses over between the two markets. And one of the awesome things about the Orlando wig is it has a transparent lace that blends in with my skin, which makes wearing this wig a little bit easier for me. And because the price point is so awesome, I want to say I paid somewhere around $40 for it. Um, don't quote me, but it was somewhere around that. I, had, I got it on sale with a coupon. Um, it's just a great price point wig. So let's kind of take a look at Orlando really quick before I put her on. Look at this, beautiful waves, really, fairly long, just beautiful. These fibers are heat friendly fibers, so you can take heat to these fibers. That's very common in this line of wigs. Um, in, in kind of this genre of wigs, a lot of times they're heat friendly because wigs like this are meant to be customized for you. They're not, they can be shake and go and they can be worn almost out of the box. But for the most part, wigs from this line, from the Bobby Boss line, from the Outre line, a lot of times they take those wigs, um, women who purchase those wigs, and they customize them. They thin them a little bit, they trim them a little bit, they take heat tools to them to make them look really more realistic. And so that is why a lot of these wigs come heat friendly. So let me put her on for you. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you out of the box. I'm going to talk a little bit about her. I'm going to show you how to trim the lace because this is the type of wig where you're going to have to cut the lace yourself. And then I'm going to show you after I've done all that and give you my impressions. So first of all, let's put her on. She is very, very pretty. The fibers just feel so good. Okay. So the first thing out of the box is the lace. You have to cut the lace before you're gonna do much more with her. So there's the lace and you can see it's quite long, but it is transparent, which is awesome. And, and I really appreciate that about this one. The other thing you'll notice is this lace goes all the way down to the ear. That is super awesome because this gives you so many styling opportunities. You can style all the way back if you want to. You don't have to worry about blending hair right here or ear tabs because the hair goes all the way. So this is going to be a great one for ponytails and for, for you know, pretty significant updos. She's very light on my head, feels really, really light. The first step you have to take is cut the lace before there's a very much more that you're going to be able to do with her. So I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to rearrange the camera, and let's get to cutting some lace. Okay everyone, we are back and I am ready to cut this lace. So I'm gonna turn the wig inside out to begin. You can stick this on a wig head if you want to, if that'll help you to keep it still. I kinda like to hold it down in my lap when I do it. And I am going to use a pinking shears. The pinking shears are the kind with the scalloped edges. You can see here. You can use a straight scissors. I prefer pinking shears, I think it gives um, the the scalloped uh, nature of the lace gives it a little bit more of a realistic appearance on your forehead so it doesn't create a straight line of demarcation because I adhere my wigs with its stays. All right, so the first thing, I've turned my wig inside out, but now I'm just gonna turn the lace front part 
right side out. So we've kind of got it inside out and then this part is just turned right side out. What this does is it helps the hair to go backwards because the cap is inside out, but I'm able to pull the lace forward. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna be able to see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to trim the lace um, as close to the hairline as I can trim it without cutting any of the hair. So I don't want to cut into the hairline. I want to leave a little bit of lace. And you know, because I adhere it with its stays, that's going to tack it down. And that's this, this lace isn't um, thick and stiff like the lace on the ready to wear lace front wigs. It's meant to be um, adhered. It's meant to be sort of glued down and it stays is gonna work um, for me. If you wanted to trim it all the way back to the hair and you weren't worried about cutting into the hairline a little bit, that's okay too. Like I told you earlier, these wigs are meant to be customized. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not sure how much I'll get of this, but I'm gonna start at the ear tab and I'm just gonna start cutting. And again, I'm gonna go slow so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm not going to worry if I get into the hairline. It's not the end of the world. This is not the same kind of lace as the ones that we are buying from John Renault and Aesthetica. If I don't cut this enough, I can always go back. So just kind of working my way along. You see I've cut a bunch of it off now. If there's any pieces that are a little bit longer, I see one right now that I didn't quite cut far enough or all the way through, I can go through with a straight scissors later and trim those off. Again, it's not, this lace is different than the ones on our ready to wear wigs. It cuts very easily. It's not super stiff which is why I say it's sort of, you don't wanna to leave too much of it because it doesn't lay as flat. You'll have to work a little bit harder to get it flat. Okay, and you notice I pause every now and then and I'm brushing the hair back so that I can. Want to be careful not to start to get lazy and go too fast. Just keep not necessarily lazy, but impatient. <laughs> and just keep on readjusting the wig, checking out where I'm at. I'll make a cut and then I'll back off a little bit and and see where I went, see where I've got to go next. Because the hairline isn't straight either, because that's not realistic. And so you want to make sure every every time you make a cut. You're seeing if you have to adjust to follow the hairline at all. Now it's getting a little trickier because I'm down here by the ear tab and it's kind of curving around a little bit. So now I'm sort of cutting only with the tips because it's getting a little more precise here. and I'm having trouble pulling it back. All right, there's the lace. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on. All right, we're back and the wig is on. And so I want to stress this lace is not the same as our lace on John Renault and other wigs. It's not stiff. It's very soft and flexible, which means if you don't adhere your wigs, if you just wear wig grips, you might have trouble getting this to lay flat. 
because it's meant to be adhered. So it stays is a great water soluble adhesive that is easy to use. It comes in a roller. This is one. It comes with a roll, a roller ball. You just roll it on and it doesn't hurt your head. It comes off with just water. I have a video, recent video on how to use it stays. So I recommend if you are going to delve into these kinds of wigs, you're going to want to get some sort of an adhesive. It stays as the easiest entry level and it just removes with water because that's going to tack down all this lace, especially over here. Remember I told you this had lace that went all the way down to the ear so that you can style it and pull it back. And that's never going to lay flat if you don't tack it down. So as soon as you go to pull it back, it's going to lift. So you want to put that it stays. Another great product you can use is got to be spray. Let me grab it for you guys. This is very, very popular. Got to be glued, it's the yellow spray. This is another great product. I have a sort of a short video on this. I don't demonstrate using it. I'll probably do a video at some point with that. Some people use the black got to be gel. So there's lots of things you can do, but I recommend that you have some way to adhere a wig like this. All right, so I showed you the out of the box and I showed you how to cut the lace. So now I'm gonna play with her some and I'm gonna just kinda of see what I think of her and wear her. Let me show you the cap too, because in the next segment, maybe I'll adhere her and then that way I can play with some styling as well. So let's look at the cap and then we'll go to the next segment where I'm actually wearing her. So the cap, here is the cap. So you've got, let me get this lace so you can see it. So you've got a little bit of a lace here. So this is the deep lace front really on that. It's not, um, it doesn't have, I'm just gonna look at it here. Yeah, it just has a deep lace front. It has no monofilament or mono part. And so you've got parting space from here all the way back to probably about here is where that lace front goes. So it's almost like a monofilament. It's not quite as wide as like a full mono top on some wigs, but it goes back quite a ways. So you're gonna be able to have that parting space. And again, it has that lace that goes all the way to the ear, which is really rare in the kinds of ready to wear wigs that we, we um, tend to buy. And when I say that, it's because I'm assuming most of the people watching these, this video aren't familiar with this brand. Um, if you are um, and you somehow stumbled across me, Please share your wisdom in the comments. People could learn from you. All right, so then we've got an extended nape. We do have um, hook adjusters. This is big head friendly. This cap is really big on me. And there aren't ear tabs. There aren't like bendable. Oh, I guess there's just teeny little metal stays right at the ear tab. And so it's got a couple of combs in here on the sides, a comb right behind the lace front and a comb in the back underneath the tag. So you've got a couple of combs here, a comb like right about here, and a comb at the nape. So if you had bio hair, you could comb, put it in, or you could use it to maybe tuck into some sort of a wig grip or a wig cap or something like that. These combs are pretty minimal. Um, they can be, looks like they can be cut out really easily. I'm probably gonna tend to leave them. I mean, as you can see, I've got nothing to tuck those into. Um, I think they'll just sit there and they'll be fine. They won't bother me at all. Otherwise, it is open wefted. And something I wanna show you guys I find really interesting. The wefting is very far apart on this. Look at how far apart that wefting is. Very far apart, as opposed to, let me find, uh, this wig right here is a John Renault wig, but the wefting is super close together. Look at how close together that wefting is compared to this. So it's much lighter. Um, I'd say, I don't know exactly what that's going to do. I'd say it, it makes it so that you might be able to see that wefting a little bit easier in some wigs. It's just not a super dense wig and so you just want to be careful with your styling on that one because it doesn't have a ton of hair I mean when you when you fold it it doesn't have a lot of hair I mean it has a lot of, it's so weird it has a lot of hair but it doesn't have a ton of density so but it does definitely has a lot of hair I think I'm contradicting myself um, 
it's just so light and really big head friendly. Lots of stretch, really loose on me. I'm going to have to tighten those adjusters. Definitely big head friendly. Petites are going to struggle with this one. All right, you guys, let me play around with her and see what we got. All right, everyone, I am back. I have been playing with uh, Orlando for a few days now, and oh my gosh, you guys, this has a ton of hair. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how it's possible that it has as much hair as it has because the wefting is so far apart, like I showed you in the earlier video, but this is like, I don't even know how to describe it so much beautiful hair okay so first of all aside from the fact that she has so much hair I hope that you guys can tell that just by looking at me right now I have to say she the hair feels amazing like soft and silky and brushes out so nice combs out I should say just feels awesome but it's a lot of hair a lot a lot a lot of hair I cannot stress enough how much hair this has. So let me show you from the all around. I mean, it's just so much hair. It's fun though. It's really fun. So I can, when I take a wide tooth comb to her and I get her, I can get the front so it almost looks doable for me like it's a little bit flatter but then as soon as I turn around or look at the back I realize this is like seven times the amount of hair that I've ever had in my whole life it's just tons and tons of hair but I'm actually having a really good time with this wig and I do think there are so many awesome styling opportunities for this that um, the price point makes it almost worth it for you. If you like to do um, updos, messy buns, put a hair up in a headband, wear hair up in a ponytail, I think you're going to have a lot of that kind of fun stuff to do with this one. So let me just tell you, I adhered her with It Stays, and I am having a little bit of trouble getting this lace to fully tack down with It Stays. I used a hair dryer, so I put It Stays on all the way down so that I could, because remember, this has lace all the way down to the ear. And so I put it stays all the way down, hoping that I could get it to tack all the way down. And then you've got all of the styling potential. But do you see how it's lifting right there? So, and I used a hair dryer and I tried to use a hair dryer to, um, you know, like dry it and really get it to adhere. That's not working. So I'm going to try some other um, things. I am going to try got to be and see if that adheres this better and um, probably have to bring that to you in another video or something because this one's going to be so long but I know it can be adhered because I see it all the time in other videos so the goal would be that I would get this adhered fully so that I could actually pull her back even all the way to the sides and I would be able to do that if this were staying down and the coverage is so good it hides my bio hair so all of that styling is really really wonderful what I have done, and I'll throw that on here on the end, I did wear her with a headband and up in a ponytail the other day, and that looked awesome. And I do think that's going to be one of the styles that I'm going to do with this one probably most often is I'll get her up in a, in a ponytail, and then I'll put a headband around, and then I really won't have to worry about it being adhered that well. I mean, the whole front looks awesome looks really good that lace front looks really good it blends in with my hair so so well um, you can take heat to this one like I said so you could straighten it even more now it was just a little bit curlier when I got her and I've been using a wide tooth comb to comb her out and sort of tame her down a little bit and that is helping a little So I'll show you a couple of styling options here tacked onto the end and uh, maybe get outside and show you this color. But the bottom line is this 
it's probably too much hair for a lot of you guys <laughs> unless you're gonna wear her in some sort of styles up with headbands and things like that which awesome she would be awesome um, the hair feels amazing the lace definitely is the right color to blend into my skin tone so all of those things are awesome and actually you know I could foresee wearing this one out if I were like I don't know going out on the town with a bunch of girlfriends and I just really wanted to kind of look a little wild and crazy and had a ton of makeup on I could probably pull it off that way but for just everyday wear or date night with my husband he doesn't like this kind of hair on me anyway um, you know I'm not so sure about that but I have to tell you guys for what she is I like her and I recommend her if you can get past all the hair it feels awesome the cap is super comfortable it's big head friendly it definitely fits me a little large there's plenty of room in the cap lots of room to grow I think if you're a petite head size you're gonna um, feel this cap is, is pretty big on you um, other than that I do think it fits really well as as well I'm just trying to think of making sure I tell you guys everything so I think that's it so I'll get some styling to show you and then wrap this up Okay, so let's put Orlando up in a headband and a ponytail just so that I can show you what I was talking about. I did do that. I may still tack that part on to the video one day when I was playing with her, but I figured I didn't show you how I put it in the ponytail, so I'm going to do that right now because I think sometimes um, we're just unsure about every step, so I'm going to show you every step. All right, so here's Orlando, just like I had her on just now in the other part of the video. And I'm going to, first of all, put my headband on. And I have linked these headbands in the description. Um, so you know which ones I purchased. You can get any headband you want to get. All right, because this isn't a three-fourths wig, like I showed you in one of my Tip Tuesdays, go, go check out my Tip Tuesday on headband wigs if you're curious. You've got a lot more bulk up here than those have, which is okay, Just you just work with that, okay? So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pull the hair. You could do this in reverse order if you wanted. You could put the hair back in a um, headband or ponytail first and then put the headband on. So now I'm just kind of pulling it back, I'm arranging it, and now I'm just going to put a headband or a pony on. Hope I'm in the camera. Just like that. See the tag of my shirt, I noticed. <laughs> And then you can just work on arranging this so that it's how you like it. Now, because this is a full wig, if you wanted to and if you adhered it, so I mentioned how that lace will fold up if it's not adhered, but if you wanted to and you had the lace adhered so that it was laying flat, which it will if you get it adhered, then you could actually leave some of that out. Mine's not adhered, so it's folding up. But you could leave some of that out and then just put the headband back. Um, it looks kind of dumb right now because I didn't do any of that adhering. But that's what that lace is for. And so you could totally adhere it if you wanted to. You could also not wear a headband and still pull the wig back in a ponytail. And just do some adjusting on the wig itself. So that it lays flush to the skin and then you just pull out some hair to frame the face now this is a little long right now but you can trim up these I have a tip Tuesday on that if you do a wig and an updo and take a little razor comb and kind of trim the hair so that it's it looks real like more like tendrils just fell out of the ponytail so that is definitely something you can do with this wig if you're looking for something to wear in a pony again it's a lot of hair but it's a great price point and the hair feels amazing all right moving on today is day one of me playing with Orlando and I'm wearing her in it with a headband in a ponytail 
super realistic looking. I've been wearing her all day. I'm just casually hanging out at home, cleaning, washing windows and screens. Looks pretty good. All right, we've got P4 slash 27 slash 30 outside. This is Orlando by Vivica Fox. Very much an auburn brunette. Very much auburn though. Some tiny bit of stripey, but not too bad actually. Just very auburn. This is fun hair. Just waiting for my husband to drive up. It's the end of the day. And if he drives up, he's gonna do a double take on this one. <laughs> it is pretty. It is a pretty color. There's the top. If you are into Auburns, you'll like this one. not super dark either all right there he is driving up I can't wait to see what he thinks of this hair okay you guys thanks for watching one more quick video it's been uh, about a month I think more than that six weeks since I filmed my review and I have yet to get her to lay down on the sides fully to wear her down but she does uh, go up in a ponytail really nicely the only caveat I'll give you about that versus my three-fourths wig which I know are hard to find is all of the bulk that's in the front here because it is a full cap but she looks great in a ponytail if you can kind of get over that bulk the hair is phenomenal it's just so awesomely soft just love the feel of this hair it's just a lot of it.